Hello, my name is Susan Meyer and I'm the Vice President of Consulting and Training at BoardSource. Today, I'll talk about protecting assets and providing financial oversight, which is the seventh of the ten basic responsibilities of nonprofit boards. Indeed, holding organizational assets in trust on behalf of others is a very important board function. Fiduciary responsibility requires that the board work hand in hand with the chief executive to do the following four things. First, to review and approve how the organization budgets, spends, and makes money. Second, to verify that the organization's financial systems and practices meet accepted standards. Third, to ensure the organization has adequate organizational reserves. And finally, to safeguard the organization's reputation and ensure it's not subjected to unnecessary risk. Now let's delve deeper into the board's money management responsibilities. Approving an annual budget and tracking revenues and expenses against the approved budget is the responsibility of the full board. This should be done at least on a quarterly basis. The board should raise questions about any items that reflect changes, either good or bad, to budgeted revenues and expenses. There are also a number of other money monitoring responsibilities that are important for boards to address, but most particularly ensuring the organization has adequate liability insurance, and reserve funds. Many nonprofits form committees to assist with financial oversight. The committee structure depends on the size of both the board and of the organization and might include a finance committee, which takes the lead in monitoring how revenue and expenses track against approved budget, and an audit committee, which oversees the annual review of financial systems and reporting practices. It's essential to note, however, that while these committees help the board fulfill its responsibilities, they do not substitute for the financial oversight that needs to be done by the entire board. Finally, let's talk about the audit. Audits are increasingly important for earning the public's trust and ensuring transparency. Typically, an audit committee's responsibilities include recommending the selection of an auditor to the full board, changing audit firms periodically, recommending changes in the lead auditor within the same firm, perhaps every five years, and reviewing the auditor's performance and fee. Whether the board appoints an audit committee or handles this issue as a whole board, it's the board's legal duty to ensure comprehensive oversight of the audit process. All board members should receive the audit report and have the opportunity to meet with the auditor without any staff in the room in order to ask appropriate questions prior to the meeting at which the audit is discussed and accepted by the full board.